on your mind tonight? Uh, says here you're a preacher of some kind or something. Manipulation, mind reading. Oh, he has many powers. Why, he can even raise the dead. And once born, they are forever loyal to Calypso. But this year, I will bring him to his oh, demise. Oh, listen, listen. Every year this time, I got people calling in with his bull. No! You must believe Calypso is the reason for all the violence. He is the devil. <laughs> I do agree with him on one thing. It's bad out there, folks. Real bad. But I got a solution. Stay in tonight and lock your doors. Just more trash on the side of the road. Looks like Calypso's got himself another driver for this year's contest. So many people I've killed over the years, but her, she was the only one who ever escaped. She was the one that got away. I don't blame myself. They were my first murders. Oh, boys and girls, she, well, she didn't make it easy. a fighter. She actually hurt me. That's how she managed to escape. That. And that damned picture. has that been and I still think about her and I still crave her death I just have to win Calypso's stupid little contest and any prize I ask for will be mine Calypso they say he has many powers when I win He's going to send me where she's been hiding all these years. And this time, I'm going to finish what I started. There was a time right after she escaped that I almost caught her. Sense where she was. Her fear. It was so ripe. But I had just missed her. Hated that name. Say cheese. Cheese. It reminds me. 
reminded me of how I hated him. How I hated being him. His stupid little life. That stupid little job. It took me years of screaming and clawing and breaking him down. Years of calling out to him, trying to get him to set me free. But he was such a coward. Then one night it happened. One night I called. And he answered. And after I got him to carve me, I killed him. For my first murders, I chose the perfect targets. The perfect family. I chose his family. Marcus, no! Marcus doesn't live here anymore. Please, no! Marcus, wait! Shut up and bleed, you mother... <laughs> Did she go? I'll find her. Can't hide from me, little girl. Can't hide from me. The battle was over. I had killed almost everyone, but she was still out there. And Calypso knew where she was hiding. For my prize, I told Calypso to send me where she'd been all these years. Oh, tonight, I'd finally get to cut her. Take me to her now! Your wish is granted. around, sweet tooth. You've been given your prize. That night, when she first encountered you, she was so traumatized. She was so damaged. The hospital just wasn't really working for her. So she checked herself out and made other arrangements. She's been dead for ten years. You can't kill me! You can't kill me! You can't ever kill me! I'll find you, Calypso! I'll find you and kill you! You will kill me! My name is Daniel Grimm, and I'm an asshole. I fry people. 
killed people? Hell, some of the ones I killed, I know they didn't have it coming. But I wasn't always like this. My life, it used to be different. It used to be good. I'd sit up in that beat up truck of his. Every few days, a brand new town, a brand new stadium. But even with all the fans, all the excitement, it was being in that truck with my dad that I loved the most. He was my idol. And in that get up of his, I thought he was a damn superhero. That night I learned the truth. The world don't give a crap about you, so I figured I might as well return the favor. Doesn't take a genius to figure how it all worked out. Come on, motherfucker! Turns out, I'm the bad guy. But what if that one jump never happened? What if I could go back and warn you? If I die in this contest, I'm fine with that. Hell, I'll welcome it. But if I win, I'm going back to stop him from trying that jump. I'm going back to save his life. And maybe then, my life will turn out different. Cursed contest has rained down upon us all. It ends tonight. Oh, it ends tonight, Calypso. And it ends with me. For my God has come and he has given me the honor of waking the suffering from their slumber of fear. And once awakened, we will all rise up. We will rise up this very night, and we shall tear down your tower of sin! Oh, I know who you are. I know who you really are. crap I've done. Oh, you think you're tough? Come on, motherfucker! Bring it! Bring it! All the people I've hurt. Please, God. You want to meet God? No, please don't. All because of that one night. But now I can change all that. Money. Power. They say Calypso can grant any wish. 
Or can he really send me back? Let's see if he can do the impossible. Hell of an entrance. I'm sure your dad would be proud. Send me back to save my father, Calypso. Mr. Grimm, your wish is granted. My dad kept a handgun under his seat. He never knew I knew about it. Never thought I'd go snooping around. Send me back, Calypso. I gotta admit, I'd have shot that motherfucker too. Bring it! Mr. Grimm. I'm sure your dad would be proud. My name is Krista Sparks. Maybe you've heard of me. I'm going to be the world's most famous supermodel. Oh, <laughs> no, no. That's not me. That's me. And nothing will stand in my way. I'm the prettiest one. They all know that. But the competition, they never let up. Good Maya. Great. Client's gonna love this. Up me. They all wanna be me. Excuse me, Maya? But that's okay. It just makes me wanna work harder. Krista, great! Client's gonna love this! Hard work and talent. That's why I'm going to make it all the way to the top. Six months, 11 operations, but something was wrong. Those other models, they'd gotten to him. They had the doctor do something to my face. Miss Sparks, it's a tiny scar. No, he was working with them. Perhaps you need a different sort of doctor. A therapist, perhaps. I'm afraid there's nothing more I can do for you. He wanted to keep me from my dream. After that, he wouldn't work on me anymore. But that's okay. I found 
a different way. But now the mask, it won't come off. But when I win this contest, Calypso will help me. Calypso will set me free. And then I'll work twice as hard. Then I'll show them all. Because when you believe in your dream, there's always a way to the top. I had worked so hard. But then... And the doctor... Miss Sparks, it's a tiny scar. He wanted to stop me too. But no one stops me. Because when you believe in your dream, there's always a way. All of us models had heard of him, able to turn even the ugliest girl into a star. He had lost some of his vision, along with his right to practice. But when he offered to help, what choice did I have? Six days in the mask, he said. Six days. The doctor promised I would be beautiful again. But when I went back to see him, the doctor was gone. I'm sorry, I have no listing for a Dr. O'Spellick, is it? At that address or any other? No. I know he was here. And now the mask, it won't come off. I can be pretty again. I can be pretty. Please make me pretty. The mask won't come off. No matter what I try. Calypso, you have to help me. The giant beast had been destroyed. Now it was time to see Calypso. But I was having second thoughts about my prize. If this mask comes off, even if it worked and I'm beautiful again, I'll just be back where I was, dealing with an endless swarm of whiny bitches with half my talent. Why climb the ladder of success when Calypso could just snap his fingers and take me straight to the top? I wanted out of this mask, but I only got one prize. And I'd rather be famous than free. Calypso, I want to be the world's most famous supermodel. Excuse me, Maya? No more struggle. No more competition. No more fighting whiny bitches over billboards. And no more selling my soul just to get time on some second-rate catwalk. No, never again. It's my turn to be number one. My prize 
You put me on the world's biggest runway. You make me the center of attention, and then, baby, you watch me shine. Your wish is granted. Oh my god, he did it. He actually did it. Is this New York? Paris? Milan? Wait, what the hell is this? This is what you asked for, Miss Sparks. I certainly hope this runway is big enough for your dreams. Calypso, you son of a bitch! Why, Miss Fox, you were right. You do shine. out there on her own but people are saying you know people are saying it's calypso that it's his twisted oh method. man here we go again no no now listen it's all true now there was this preacher right and he now, wait wait a minute where are the cops in all this how about the military well now look they have wishes too where and are everyone the protesters if it wasn't just crime getting bad but if this twisted metal were actually real there'd be protesters right if all this violence and death and destruction we're seeing, if it wasn't just crime getting worse, but if it was actually caused by Calypso, people would be taking up arms against this guy. They'd be pouring out into the streets trying to take Calypso out. But where is everyone? Where are all the people? Where are all the protesters? Yeah, exactly. Exactly my point. The protesters, they don't exist because the contest doesn't exist. <laughs> Twisted metal, it just ain't real. I know who you are. I know who you really are. I will stop you. I am on a mission from God, and I will not be stopped! And the world must know. The world must be free of your illusions, of your madness. I know who you are. You are the beast! You are the beast!
on that night. He did cut me. But he didn't kill me. If he wanted me dead, he would have done it. Say cheese. Cheese. He had to know. I survived. He kept me alive, so I could continue his good work. So I could carry on his... legacy. He kept me alive. In case something happened to him. father was my hero. And Calypso killed him. Soon, I'll be strong enough to return the favor. the dead and once spawned they are forever loyal to calypso all that anger all that fight all that rage you have inside you could bring the world so much pain. I just can't let that go to waste. You understand, yes? I had this made just for you. Take your time. The trip back, it can be a bit unnerving. Welcome back. Welcome back. Sophie. Ready to play?